Hi YouTube! So, I've had loads of questions over the past few days. Um, I don't know why you've all suddenly decided to ask me the same question, but the only way for me to solve this is to make a video and a blog post about it, um, get it up on YouTube for you, uh, help you guys out. I get a lot of questions asking, how can I change just one bit of text on my website? I want my title on this page to be red, but I want it to stay blue on all the others. Um, on this page, I want to use a certain font, but I want it to stay my regular font and all the others. Um, I get a lot of emails from my tutorial about contact forms, which um, is really, really popular. How can I change uh, one form but not another form um, using CSS? And I'm going to show you a really, really simple way um, of being able to do this. You don't need to be a coder, a developer, a designer. Um, there's a little handy little tool um, in the Chrome Web Store, an extension for Google Chrome that you can use that's going to make this so, so simple for you guys. And in fact, I use it. Loads of other designers in Squarespace use it. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's that good. We don't need to waste our time digging around in the code either. Um, and you guys can use it too. So the first thing you need is that you're going to need um, Google Chrome um, web browser installed on your, on your computer. Uh, it's just a web browser, it's the same as Firefox, Internet Explorer, Safari. Um, if you use any of those and you don't have Chrome, then download Chrome. You can carry on using whatever you like the rest of the time. Um, but if you're working on your Squarespace website, then Chrome uh, is a really good idea because you, you can have this installed. Um, so if you don't have Chrome already, go and download that and then come back. And you want to go to the Chrome Web Store. I'll put the link in the description and I'll put the link in my blog post as well. Um, but you can just go to google.com, type in Chrome Web Store and it'll be the first thing that comes up. So first of all, we're going to search and search for Squarespace. I'll be this first thing here, Squarespace Collection Block Identifier. Just click Add to Chrome. Uh, it'll give you some sort of pop-up for permission, accept that, and you'll come up with a little uh, little notification that it's been added. And you can't see this on my video because the top of my web browser gets cut off when I do a video. But where your bar is, where you would type in a web address or you would type what you want to search, there's a few little icons that are your, um, your extensions that you've installed. I've got a couple of them there, but one of them will come up and it will be the block identifier. It's a black square with a white B in it. I'll take a screen cap and I'll, I'll pop it in the blog post that goes along with this video. So once that's in, all you need to do is refresh your page or close Chrome and reopen it and that will be fully installed. So go and do that and then meet me back uh, here once you've opened your Squarespace website. Then you need to be on that page, on that panel. I've got it set up here. I've made a page on my own website that's got two columns. They've got the exact same text in them, just some lower bits, some dummy text. And I'm using my H1, my H2, my H3 and paragraph text, body text, and I've got two forms as well next to each other so everything's exactly the same. Now normally if you were to, let's say we'll make a change to my H1, I'm going to go H1 and we'll just change the colour to something really simple so it's really obvious for you to see and I change my H1 to red. That has now changed all of my H1 text across my website to red. But that's not what I want to do. All I want is, let's imagine I'm going to uh, do the column on the left. I want the column on the left to have red text, but I want the column on the right and all the rest of my website to stay black. And it's really, really easy. Once you've got this block identifier, you're going to go up, click on that little icon, which you probably can't see on the video because of the way that my screen records, but I'll make sure that I put a uh, put a picture of that and a screen cap of that in the blog post. You click on that and these block IDs will come up. So this one, for example, is the ID of the spacer that I'm using here. This is the text box in this column. This is the text box that I'm using for this column. And here is another spacer. And if we go down, each of these form blocks has got a block ID as well. And you can see there's a ton of them here in my uh, in my footer, my Instagram, my logo. And actually, if you come up to the top, there's a collection ID up here as well. You might be reading a tutorial somewhere or looking at a forum post, and they tell you that you need to use your page's collection ID. 
you can use this handy little extension to find collection IDs as well. They'll display up here in the top left hand corner. But we're not looking at that now, we're just looking at the block IDs. So I want to change the left hand column, this text in this block, so I'm going to click on that. That's going to copy to my clipboard automatically. Come in here, paste it into my CSS box. And then I'm going to use the exact same code as before, so H1, colour, red. As you can see, the H1 text only in this block has changed to red. Everything else has stayed the same. Actually, if you click on the icon, that will make those labels go away. You can see this H1 text is red, this H1 text this time has stayed black, and the rest of my site, all of the H1 text has stayed black as well. Um, you can do that, you can change size as well, that's going to uh, change this, let's so go to H2, so that's changed to red, but I'm going to do something different, I'm not going to do colour, I'm going to do, um, let's change the font, so font family, um, Arial, it's a really, really easy way of if you want to use a different font just in one specific place, this is a way you can do it, you can just target that block. Um, and just target that particular area of text. Uh, let's make it a different size, so font size. Um, I want to go down to 12 pixels. There you can see the H2 there has gone down, got smaller. The H2 on the right has stayed exactly the same, and it's the same across the rest of my website. Now, a lot of you come to me uh, because you've read my form, contact form blog post, and it's the contact forms that you want to make look a little bit different or you want to customize so I'm going to show you here how we can do that with a form now I'm not going to use this anymore I want the block ID for this form so I'm going to go click on that little icon my labels come up again and I want this form so I want this block ID click on that that's copied now click the icon make them go away again paste and let's change the background of the fields. So I've got a sort of just kind of off-white creamy colour that I use now that's part of my branding. I'm going to change that. So first thing I need to do is uh, get my block ID. I've done that. The second thing I'm going to need to do is find out how to target within that block. I need to target those fields. So I'm going to go to my uh, post. This is the blog post I did on customizing the Squarespace form. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description as well. If you've not if you've not come from there, you can go and have a look. And this is what I need to use to target those form fields. So I'm going to copy that. Bring it over here, paste it in. And again, we'll change the color because that's the easiest thing for you to see on the video. And I'm going to change that to can see the fields on the left hand side on that block that I'm targeting they've changed to pink on the right hand side they've said exactly the same and the contact forms that are on my own website all the different pages they will still be in this creamy color it's just this one that I'm targeting that has gone to pink because I've used the block ID um, I'm just typing in the name of a color just to make things simple but you probably want to use a hex code so that's simple enough to do you just oh, Pop in your hex code, I'll stick to pink but I'll put a nicer one in. So that looks a little bit better. Something else I could uh, do, let's have a look, what can we change, what can we change? Okay, let's change the button on this form. Um, again from my blog post, this is the code I need to target the button on a contact form. Let's put that in now. And the background color. Uh, we'll put it. We'll put in that hex code that I was just using. So keep it to the pink. Oh no! I've put in a completely different hex code. Bear with me. FD E8 E8 is the pink. So now I've changed that button to become pink. As you can see, the one on the right has stayed in blue. It's going pink when I highlight over the top of it because that's the CSS that's in the rest of my website. 
this button everywhere on my website changes to pink when you go over but here I've managed to change it so that it's pink all the time. I really hope that helps uh, some of you make some of the changes that you want to make by yourself maybe feel like you can be a little bit more adventurous with the CSS that you're using. Uh, if there's anything else you want a video on, email me, put a uh, comment below um, or comment on one of my blog posts and I'll see what I can do.